Earlier in the show, we saw Jason and Karun getting to grips with two supremely quick sports cars. Both are brilliant driver-focused machines, but let's not forget that they cost north of £140,000. Sadly, most of us won't have the budget for a GT3 RS, so let's have a look at some alternatives that will get the Pulse racing, but without breaking the bank. Each of these sporty convertibles can now be yours for around eight grand, with reasonably low miles and in good condition. The Porsche Boxster, the Mercedes SLK, and the BMW Z4 Roadster. I'll start with the Boxster. Now, we couldn't feature sports cars without the Porsche Boxster. It was born in 1996, and it was Porsche's first purpose-built convertible sports car since the Spyder back in 1953. It has got a fantastic chassis with its mid-engine layout, and that definitely makes it more nimble than, dare I say, Porsche 911 with its rear-engine layout. Oh, controversial, maybe. And even better news is that your £8,000 budget will now get you into a Series 2 or 987 version of the Boxster. This features a host of revisions, including new lights and interior, plus an uprated version of Porsche's famous flat six engine, which produces 239 horsepower and propels it to 62 miles an hour in 7.1 seconds. You turn the steering, the car moves. It talks to you non-stop through the wheel, through the seat, through the pedals. It's fabulous. So if you fancy one of these cars, what must you look out for? Well, the suspension for starters. Broken coil springs are the main culprit and an unlevel stance is a good giveaway that things are not right. Moans and groans as well are a good indicator. And a corner costs about £100 to replace. And while you're taking a test drive, you might be tempted to think that the brakes are misbehaving. The brakes in a Boxer 987 are particularly good, but you might not think so to start with because Porsche's braking system isn't as heavily assisted as other rivals. So perhaps a good way to check them is to find a quiet stretch of road and do an emergency stop. Next, the Mercedes. If you're looking for a sports car that's stylish and elegant, then look no further than the Mercedes-Benz SLK. It manages to combine grace with decent performance and a bit of luxury. These R171 models were made between 2004 and 2010. And this particular car is a 1.8 litre with a supercharger or compressor, as Mercedes like to call it. And it's got 161 brake horsepower. It'll do 143 mile an hour top speed and 0 to 62 happens in 7.9 seconds. Unlike the Porsche and many other sports cars, the SLK has decent boot space with 300 litres available when the roof is up. So this is definitely one to consider if you like long weekends away. The engine is in the front of this car and it definitely feels more nose heavy than the Boxster. It doesn't turn in quite as sprightly as the Porsche and it isn't as agile and nimble either. However, what it is really good at is cruising and wafting along. If you want one of these cars, here's what you need to look out for. Boot seals are prone to failure, which can result in the wheel well filling up with water, soaking the carpet and then leading to the inevitable rust. This is a quick fix if you catch things early. Seals can be had for around £60. And please inspect the car's intricate metal roof. If you notice that it's retracting more slowly than usual, then it's usually a problem with the pump. New ones cost £500. However, you might be able to get a second-hand one for around £150. Time for my final Germanic sports car. Now for the BMW Z4, or E85 to be precise. It was BMW's sports car for the millennium and was introduced in 2002, replacing the outgoing Z3. You can now get hold of early Z4s for a little over £2,000. 
However, if you're prepared to accept a slightly higher mileage, £8,000 will just about get you into a very special version of this car, the Z4M. It's powered by a 3.2-litre straight-six engine, putting out 343 horsepower, far more than the other two cars I have today. The result? Well, how does 0 to 62 miles an hour in just five seconds grab you? Fundamentally, when BMW made the Z4, they made a really good car. Front engine, rear-wheel drive, that is just as engaging and rewarding as the Porsche Boxster, just delivered in a slightly different way. Make no mistake, the Z4M is a Z4 turned up to 10, so expect a very firm ride and razor-sharp throttle response. But if speed is your priority, this is certainly a car to look out for. So, what do you need to check before parting with your cash? The suspension. Rear trailing arm bushes can begin to wear at about 50,000 miles, and also rear springs can snap. It's not uncommon for Z4 owners to fit thicker eye-back springs, and they cost from as little as £140 for a set. And as for that mighty engine, well, don't worry, it is virtually bomb-proof. Which one would I take home? It has to be the Porsche Boxster because the driving involvement is just perfect.